Hey everybody, Karen Sullivan here with lifehealthmore.net. And today is a fun day. It is uh, July 2nd and welcome to another great month and the summer is here. And this is always a favorite time of year for me. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but um, I'm a personal trainer and I have always found that um, this is the time of year that most of my clients have uh, are finally in that stage of I've reached my goal. I've done what I want to do. I feel really good about myself and then I'm going to go enjoy and I'm going to do a vacation that I've been planning forever or whatever. So it's nice to see this culmination where they have reached their goals and everything. Now, let me preface the fact that we're talking about for the month of July fit and fabulous, being fit and fab. And um, people don't always reach the goals that they think they're going to or that they've set out for themselves. And they don't for a multitude of reasons. Um, and that's what we're going to be discussing throughout the month of July. Now, I have a contest going on here. And um, I am looking for subjects. You know, you have a question, you have an idea about why perhaps you don't reach your goals and um, it's not like the dog ate my homework or the dog ate the only thing in the house that was healthy <laughs> so i had to eat that chocolate cake right so give me an idea make it in the comment section or put it in a message to me and the person that gives me the really most powerful idea for me to do as a as a live show on life health more will win a free coaching session and it's done either on zoom or on facetime if you have an iphone or just on the telephone itself and you get the opportunity to meet with a health coach and get some ideas about um jump starting your program and that's a really that's a great value and uh, and it's yours free and so just please comment and let me know i i'd love to hear your feedback and i'd love to hear some ideas i know what i have experienced with clients for the past 25 plus years but there's always a different reason there's people are different so that's you know what happens it's just we got lots of ideas so i'm talking about not diet not what your exercises should be but what we're going to talk about is your mindset it's your mindset it's what's in your heart it's the things that you believe about yourself that will make you successful or not okay so there are three focus topics that we're going to talk about the one is your motivation Another one is your focus. Now that sounds like it might be the same thing, but I'll talk about it later. The third thing are recipes, recipes for success, whether it's an actual recipe for food or whether it's a recipe that you have sort of this top secret ingredients or this top secret way of achieving success. So we'll go through those sorts of things too this month. So have you, had a goal and reached it. How many people have a goal and they reach it? And I don't mean just in weight loss, I'm talking about everything. Let's say that you have a goal in life. No, let's, we'll boil it down. Life is a long, long time. <laughs> so instead, let's say you have a goal for uh, this weekend coming up that you want to do some planting, some plants in your garden some flowers perhaps in your garden it's not too late to plant something and that you want to trim some hedges and then you think that you might even power wash the fence and the house so that's your that's your goal for the weekend that you want to do all that so as you get out there and you begin you find that um the phone rings and it's a friend that really wants to go to lunch and you have been trying for weeks to get in touch with her and she's been busy just as busy as you and so you haven't been able to get together with her and she says today i have time i can can we get together i'm dying to see you so what do you say gotta say no i have a list you know no of course not you're gonna go and have time with your friends so at the end of the weekend you haven't finished things one was because you went to see a friend which is a great thing and the people are far more important than power washing your house but 
you haven't reached your goal. Let's add to that the fact that um, perhaps it rained so you couldn't do the work out there. Or let's say that the plants that you were going to plant um, oh, look like they had mites on them and you didn't want to put add that to your garden because then it would introduce the mites into your garden. So to see there are all kinds of things that come up with even a project, a small project, or with uh, something that has to be more long term as far as your health and your fitness. Now we want to be healthy and fit. That's that's what we need to be in order to get through life. And so when you have a plan for being healthy and strong and fit, um, you have to know why you want it. And it's not enough because your doctor said, I know it, it's not enough because your doctor said you really need to lose weight or you really need to get your blood pressure down or you really need to um, make sure that you're more active because your joints are really stiff and it'll help you to feel better. Whatever they say, it's not enough because they said you need to do that because you'll feel better. Uh, and those are, I have some statistics on that, that um, people really don't do it because there's a health concern for themselves. Isn't that sad? Isn't that just really sad? You know, people who need to stop smoking. Well, everybody needs to stop smoking. But let's say someone has a persistent cough and they, you know, recognize that it's not going away and when they smoke it gets worse and so they begin to believe okay you know the fact is i need to stop smoking and but they won't because it's all it's all about me 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 and if, if we turn it out and look at the people around us that we know and love and our family then we can perhaps start to build a motivation based on that I'd like to be healthy because I want to be with my spouse longer. Um, I enjoy him. I love my children. I love my grandson and I want to spend more time with him and I want to be able to run around and play with him. Now I can run around and play with him now. Um, I might be stiff and sore and I always have these provisos that I can do this, but then I have to do that, which is usually stretching icing, maybe a massage <laughs> to be able to feel better. But it's, it's really just an important thing that, you know, you'll get benefit, but you'll be happier to do something for other people because you love them and you care about them. So this month, I, I would have to say if we're changing habits, or if you are going to try to set a goal out for yourself and do it and stay with it, then, then first we're going to realize that we have to decide why we want to do it. So there is a practice of, um, well, I don't want to go there first, but here's the thing where you finally throw in the towel. That's sorry. I need to back up a little bit. We, you finally are ready to, to do it. We're going to talk losing weight because that's what so many people are concerned with and interested in. And I know this because whenever I'm in public, you would not believe the number of people that talk about how they've lost weight, how they've been trying to lose weight, how the food on their plate is not what they usually eat. So people are conscientious around me because, because of what I do for a living. But the, the fact of the matter is people are wanting these things, but not enough to really do it, right? So you have to have something that is finally the straw that broke the camel's back. The thing that made you finally go, oh, that is for the birds, forget about it. Well, like, let's say that you're somewhere and you're with a group of people and there's this beautiful vista and someone takes a picture and you happen to be standing in the foreground taking a picture with your phone and they say to you oh was, look I got you in my picture and they show you the photo on their phone with you and you look and you think your butt is 12 feet wide that's what it looks like to you 
it's not really nobody has or derriere that's that wide but to you that's what it looks like and you are aghast and you think there's just no way there's just oh my gosh what the heck i have got to get a handle on this or a little bit more subtle kind of a thing is if you're getting dressed to go to a, a wedding and you have a dress that you wore a year ago to another friend's wedding and you just never even thought about it you just like i'll just wear that dress it was really good it was cool it was comfortable i enjoyed it wearing it great and you go to put it on the day of the wedding and it doesn't fit and it's the oh horrendous feeling that somebody shrunk your dress shrunk it it was fine a year ago and now it doesn't fit i can't even get it down around my hips see those sorts of things is where it's sort of like somebody has splashed us in the face with cold water and we say holy criminy i have to do something about this now those are small things and that is not a powerful enough reason for you to really stick with this, okay? The powerful reasons have to come from really deep down inside. So let's say we're going to run through a scenario. Jane, and I know a lot of Janes out there. This is not any of them. This is a made-up person, okay? I just want to make sure nobody gets offended. <laughs> so Jane is the person in the photograph. She sees the size of her rear end and she's just devastated, cannot stand the idea that that's what she looks like. Can't, can't even envision what she looks like from the side or from the front, but this is enough to really upset her. And she says, I've got to lose weight because I cannot stand how big I look, how just I've gotten grossly overweight. This is awful. I have to lose weight. Okay. And then you go, but why? Well, because I can't look like that. But why, Jane? Why do you really feel like you have to lose weight? Well, I know this is not me. Well, how do you know that? Why? So it's not you. What do you mean? Well, I feel young and vivacious inside. Okay. And, and I want to feel and look the same as I feel. But why? Well, because I'm afraid that if I remain that size, I will never be able to get back to the size that I'm comfortable with. But why? Well, everybody in my family has been heavy and is heavier than me. I'm the only one that's this small. Everybody's bigger than me. Well, what does that mean, Jane? Well, I need to make sure that I'm not as big as them because when I look at them, I feel sorry for them. Oh, and I don't want anybody feeling sorry for me, really. But why? Because if they feel sorry for me, then they probably will think less of me. But why does that matter? Because I'm confident with who I am. But why? Well, I've always been a very self-reliant person. Okay. But anyway, uh, that's giving you the idea. That's the way you have to pick it yourself. And I'm doing the one person in the same voice because those are the questions Jane is asking herself. And that's what you have to do to ask. And as you delve into it, between each answer, you know, take a time to take a deep breath and try to allow those feelings to really surface of what it is ultimately. And these are things that you don't share with other people. This is that stuff that's real deep and deep down in our part of our soul, part of the essence of who we are. And we don't want to share that with somebody because it's so deeply personal. As those things, you know, there are things that you just don't tell people about yourself and it's okay. You know, you don't even tell your spouse some things and that's okay. But when you reach the point where you have, you know exactly why it is that you want to get that fat off your body, 
you'll feel in your gut kind of um, butterflies or you'll feel this peace inside. Yeah, that's the reason why. That's why I want to do this. And lo and behold, you need to take that feeling and encapsulate it and hold on to it and remember it and repeat it to yourself so that you know when something comes up and you're feeling like you're going to just go right ahead and have that chocolate cake that you remember, yeah, but I remember this is why I'm doing this. So you, you will stay stronger when you have that in front of you. Okay. The, this is where like, um, the focus that we have, the focus being the second thing, just to, per, to talk about it in a, in a real easy thing, um, because we'll get into these on other on other weeks. But the focus that you want to keep is to remembering that you don't want to just go through life willy nilly. You have your idea. You have that thing that you're holding close to your heart that has to do with why you want to get thinner. And um, there are some misconceptions that we have as human beings that we expect it to um, happen immediately. After all, you looked at yourself in the picture, you saw how heavy you looked and you just decided, wow, that happened overnight. So the results of getting thin you want to have happen overnight and you have to recognize, don't rush it. It's going to stay. It's going to take a, a while. You know, it's going to, you have to be with it and, per, and persist and keep going. So making that reason that strong and is, is one thing, you know, you have, um, you have a deep reason within you for why you want to do it. And I have to read this, um, this quote from Winston Churchill. He says, success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Isn't that great? So when you lose focus, when you have weak reasons, when you have no plan and when you procrastinate, which a lot of people do, it's not, it's not always a great fun thing to do to go out and cut the grass or make a salad for your dinner. And it's just as easy and, or you think it's just as easy to go ahead and reach into the refrigerator and grab anything that's in there and eat it. Bad habits, you want to change them. Okay. We want to stay with it consistently. That's where coaching comes in. And I would love to work with you on coaching. If you are interested, let me know. And these are all ways that you can get to become the very best version of yourself. So fit and fab month. This is just the beginning. I think that we ought to remember we want to do it for those we love. If we don't love ourselves enough, perhaps we can think about the people around us who are counting on us and care for us. And that is an, an initial thing is a great way to recognize, you know, my children would not be happy if I wasn't here. They would be, they would miss me. They would, they need me. They're not grown yet. My husband and I have just reached the pinnacle of our lives where now it's time for us to spend time together. I don't want for that to end. So, do it for those two and integrate yourself into that. Remember that you are worthy. You are special. You are fantastic. And you are headed on a journey in 2018 to be the very best version of yourself. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you around.